visit to Waco is complete without a visit to the Cameron Park Zoo, one of the most modern zoos in Texas and one of the best smaller city zoos in the United States and maybe even the world. When the zoo opened in, in 1993, we only had 54 animals. Since that time, we've added, or well, we've added several hundred. Our collection now goes upwards of 700 animals. Uh, we've built a, a world-class herpetarium. We have the newest herpetarium built in the United States, which uh, we have people from all over the United States coming to view it and to look at our safety procedures. Cameron Park Zoo's state-of-the-art herpetarium houses over 50 species of animals, ranging from the exotic reptile to the native Texas snake. The uniqueness of Cameron Park Zoo stems from its location within a park which leads to larger and more comfortable enclosures. Yeah, I think it's more of a family atmosphere in the fact that you get to walk around uh, the park and you can enjoy the forest, Cameron Forest, which is around you, as well as some plains areas and see quite a few plants. And in the midst of all this, as you kind of take this little trek, um, you get to see some beautiful animals and some great enclosures. Cameron Park Zoo boasts many unique and modern viewing exhibits, such as this treetop area, where one can come in and dine at the restaurant here while observing the animals down in the African savanna, including the giraffe and the kudu. The zoo's unique exhibit style emphasizes the animals over the architecture. But if we can bring the building out towards the public but make it a part of the exhibit without them knowing it, it's much a uh, more pleasing environment for the animals and for the public in general as they come through. We go to great efforts to mimic the exact environment. What we have here is um, our African elephant exhibit. It's the, really the last part of our African plains display. Uh, it's a large exhibit with termite mounds in it and we happen right now to hold three African females. We probably have one of the few elephant exhibits in the United States that you have to mow. Most elephant exhibits you do not have to mow. And then we've got Zoe who came to us a few years ago and she's probably our next candidate to try to breed African elephants. We've got a restraint chute in the back that the elephants go through every day and we can put her in that and we're actually looking towards AI, artificial insemination with her, which has been successful in several zoos. And if we can't get her conditioned to that, then what we'll probably do is put her in a large elephant trailer and we'll ship her to an African male and then let uh, every, nature take its course naturally, I guess. The breeding endeavors don't end with the elephants as the zoo is an acting participant in the species survival plan. So that we really worked with the national parks in, in Kruger in South Africa and worked on bringing, bringing animals from the wild who were overpopulated, who were going to be destroyed into captive situations and then moving them from zoos from Africa into the United States. And now it's become what we call a species survival plan. Um, zoos have several of them. Elephants are one, rhinos one, there's one for gibbons and orangs and gorillas. But what's unique about this is that with uh, African lions, the, uh, the species survival plan is pretty new specifically for African lions and we're unique in that we can participate in that. And we're hoping to breed our male Sam Jack with uh, one of the females we got in from Wichita, Kansas on a trade. And uh, hopefully soon we'll have some lion babies. And it's going to be a fun time. Cameron Park Zoo is really kind of taking a step out. and. Uh, We've got something very unique to show people. We're not a traditional zoo. Uh, we're really something that, uh, that has, has got a unique feel to it, and I think everybody would really enjoy it.